For years, I played up and down the pentatonic scale just hoping to hit a good note. Really had no forethought. Let me bring you in close and show you a simple way that you'll be confident you're hitting good notes when you do your solo. All right, we're just playing a simple progression today. A, G, to D. Or A, G, to D. Today we're talking about playing simple phrases over each chord and then connecting them. This is a great way to look at improvising. In that opening jam, I was looking at the A and just, just did a slide and pull back here. Just barring in the fifth fret, the B and E string, just a piece of the A chord. Sounds great. And I, I play the A chord a lot like that with that. Sounds real powerful. Down, then it's going to the G chord. You can you could pick this as you as you hammer on to the fifth fret, but I'm really looking at barring this because we're going to a G chord. So this is a piece of the G chord, which I play like this a lot also. So the first two phrases G. All right, then the D chord, we kind of hammer on here, taking a piece of the D chord here in the second fret of the G string, third fret of the B string, just a piece of the D chord, hammering on to the fourth fret of the G string, and then pulling that back. Then doing a bluesy little half step bend in the fourth fret of the G string. Really simple, but so far. So you're at the D chord here. Then you're ending up back at the A chord. And I'm walking in the little phrase I did at the beginning, jam, piece of the G chord. Really bluesy sounding lick, or phrase I should say. Fifth fret of the A string, fourth fret of the G string, but keeping that same thing as you walk up. So if you know a phrase down here in A with which you're, you're using the A, A note here in the 5th fret of the E string, but what about up here in the 10th fret of the B string? Now you have more notes available to expand that. And also in the, the up here, 14th fret of the G string. I guess I'm just showing you this because it's so powerful to know where the root notes are, the chords that you're playing, because you can play simple phrases all over the neck, and then as you get comfortable, you can start connecting them. Just playing a few notes from the heart is what really gets people's attention. So now we're going to look at the, the A minor pentatonic up here.
same notes as anywhere else of the minor pentatonic, but th this has a good sound up here. And I, I, this this bending note here to start with is the it bends to an E, so it'd be fifteenth fret of the B string. All that right in that that little box there. Pull off. If you can do that phrase fast, that sounds really good. It kind of breaks up some of the slower phrases that you're doing if you can throw in a fast phrase. And then maybe even use throw in that major third real quick there. If you're having trouble with some of these phrases but you want to learn them, just grab your guitar and just do them really slow. Over and over really slow. I really like to look at soloing as little blocks, little phrases all over the fretboard. When you look at it as scales, it can be really intimidating to, to know the minor pentatonic all over the neck, know the major pentatonic, the minor scale, and, and even some of the major scales combining all this stuff together. I look at anchor points Looking at the A here and the A here, A right here. Right here, the, but looking at the minor pentatonic, major here, minor there. Then really you can, just adding those few little notes in there to your phrases, you can do it anywhere on the neck. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This is a really broad topic, but if you're having trouble following the chords, just do little phrases that go over each chord and then connect them. It's just a great way to improvise and, and try it over slow tracks, blues or rock, to slow everything down and you can do the exact same thing over a fast track once you, once you get confident. So thanks again and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.